So, you've just got a new iPhone, well this video is perfect for you. I've got a list of accessories worth considering for your new device. We have cases, docks, speakers, controllers, activity trackers, and a bunch of other stuff. First up are iPhone cases. So I've actually made a dedicated video showing my favorite iPhone cases, make sure to check that out. My current favorite and the one I'm using the most is the Nomad leather case. It's made from full grain, sustainably sourced leather that will patina over time. I love the leather look on this one. It's been my most used case since per purchasing my iPhone 15 Pro. It has a slim and lightweight design with an integrated 360 degree TPE bumper that protects your phone against drops of up to eight feet. There's anodized aluminum buttons and raised edges to protect the screen and camera bump. There's integrated magnets for MagSafe support. It comes in black, brown, and English tan. I love the overall design and look of this case. It's classy and it's a great replacement for the leather cases that Apple used to do. The only downside of real leather, of course, is that because of the patina, Obviously I use a lot of MagSafe accessories. I can see the MagSafe ring on the back of here. I don't mind it. Some people will mind, but I just wanna make people aware that it's not going to be bulletproof. Like that's not how leather works. It will mark an age over time. There's also the C1 MagFit cases from Spigen. It's made from a two piece polycarbonate and TPU construction lined with impact foam for extra durability. It has a pretty awesome design. I do like the look of this. It has a retro translucent design inspired by the Apple iMac G3. There's also integrated magnets for MagSafe wireless charging. And it comes in a bunch of colors, blue, graphite, and ruby. And then finally, if you're looking for a bit of extra protection, Rhino Shield have the solid suitcase and it's a minimalist case that places extra emphasis on protection. It's pretty thick. It's definitely thicker than the average case, but it is designed to have a very good drop resistance rating of up to 11 feet. Of course, it's MagSafe compatible and I found that the magnets in this are actually super strong. So if you're looking for a case that has extra strong magnets, this is definitely one to consider. It comes in 14 different colors as well. So you can find the color that suits you. Next up, we have Sleek Strip who are sponsoring this video. They have the new Duo Flip, which is a very unique dual-sided MagSafe ID card holder and credit card holder. On one side, you have a windowed card slot, which is ideal for an ID card, perfect if you're someone who works in an office environment. The other side is a covered card slot that discreetly holds another tappable card, such as a credit card. You can also do contactless card tapping on either side of the holder without the need to remove the cards. The idea is that instead of having a separate ID card holder and a card wallet, you can have one that combines the both. It attaches to the iPhone via MagSafe and it's actually a very, very strong magnet. You can then easily flip it around whenever you need to. It can also even act as a phone stand if you need to prop it up somewhere. If you need to have your ID on display, there's also a lanyard so you can quickly remove it from your phone and attach it to the lanyard. Also included is a retractor for when you need to quickly tap your card for key access. There's a few colors to choose from. I have the slate and ash colors here, but there's also chestnut. Make sure to check out Sleek Strip. I'll leave a link to them down in the description below. Next up, we have charging docks, and this is one of my personal favorites. It's from Native Union. It's a three in one wireless charger. It's basically an all in one power solution to wirelessly charge all of your Apple devices. You can charge an iPhone, AirPods, and an Apple Watch simultaneously. It isn't MagSafe certified though, so it only charges the iPhone at seven and a half watts, and then it charges the AirPods and the Apple Watch at five watts. The Apple Watch charger can actually be removed, and then you can use that USB-C port to charge other devices other than an Apple Watch. It's also perfect for the new iOS 17 standby mode, which is something that I've been using a lot recently. It has a sturdy weighted base, which is perfect for MagSafe, because obviously you don't want to be taking the charger with you when you take your phone off it. I love the minimalist and classy design of this. It feels very heavy duty and is made from luxury feeling materials. The only issue I have with native union chargers is that as you can see the iPhone charger does stain over time depending on the phone case that you're using. I think if you're not using a phone case it shouldn't matter too much but because I use leather phone cases the leather does transfer over to the charger. That's something to keep in mind. I don't think it's a deal breaker but I know some people don't like it. I feel like when you have a phone on it you're not really going to notice anyway. If you're looking for a more budget option, Ugreen have the two-in-one wireless charger. It can charge two devices at the same time, your iPhone and your Apple Watch. Again, this isn't actually MagSafe certified, so it only charges the iPhone at seven and a half watts. You can, of course, adjust the angle of the iPhone charger to whatever you like. And again, like I mentioned with the previous Native Union charger, you can use standby mode with it. The only thing that I don't like about it is the color. It's like a midnight bluey color. I wish they just did it in gray or black. But other than that, I'm actually pretty impressed. The materials and the weight of it, it feels like a more premium product. When it comes to earbuds, the default choice I always recommend are iPods. I feel like when you have an iPhone, it's always worth just getting a pair of AirPods, even though of course they are a bit more expensive than other earbuds, but they're just so convenient. The way they work with the iPhone, 
the way they're so seamlessly integrated and they're so compact and the battery life is also amazing. They've been my go-to for years now. They may not have the best audio quality, but for everyday purposes, they really do make a lot of sense. With the AirPods Pro 2 in particular, you have active noise cancellation and transparency mode, as well as adaptive audio. You get up to six hours of listening with active noise cancellation enabled and up to 30 hours when using the case to charge on the go. Like I said, for the size, these are just so convenient. They can easily fit in most pockets and most bags. Next up, we have speakers. The first one is the Marshall Emberton 2. It's a small portable outdoor speaker that really does pack a punch. It has Bluetooth 5.1 for connectivity. It has 30 plus hours of active playtime on a single charge, which is just incredible. The battery can be fully charged in three hours or a quick 20 minute charge can give you four hours of playback. It has a pretty unique feature where you can stack multiple Emberton speakers on top of each other and use them in a sort of stack mode to amplify the sound. It has a very rugged case that is also IP67 rated. The sound quality is good, but I did find it a little muddy but I feel like for the size, it's good enough. What I love most about this speaker in particular is the design. It has a pretty cool retro design, but also feels very rugged. I love the gold multi-control button on the top, as well as the battery level indicator, which almost looks like an audio level meter. Next up, we have the Sonos Roam, which is my personal favorite, and I always carry it with me when I go on vacation. Sonos have specially designed this for on-the-go usage. It has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Apple AirPlay. It has a tweeter and a midwoofer to offer clear and balanced sound. IP67 water and dust resistant. It utilizes TruePlay tuning technology to adapt to the sound of your surroundings. And because it's Sonos, you can of course pair it with other Sonos speakers or have it be part of your system at home. And that's what I love about Sonos. It's just so convenient to be able to control all of your speakers with one app. If you're looking for something that's super compact though, there's the JBL Go 3. It's an ultra portable speaker from JBL that punches well over its weight. It has up to five hours of playback time on a single charge. It's IP67 water and dust proof like the other speakers. It comes in eight different colors. There's an integrated loop for easy transportation and you can attach it to like your backpack or something like that. When I first tried this speaker, paired up to my phone, I was absolutely blown away. I just couldn't believe how such a small speaker can produce such a big sound. The highs and the mids that come out of this thing are really impressive for such a small speaker. Now, of course, with it being a small speaker, you're not going to get good bass. This just isn't going to be able to do good bass. You need a big driver to get good bass. But if you need a super portable speaker that's really small and actually sounds really good, I am so, so impressed by this. If you've got a new iPhone 15 Pro, you may know that it can now shoot Apple log footage. Well, to get the most out of that and to not fill up all of the space on your phone, it's definitely worth looking at one of these. It's a Samsung T7 driver to portable SSD. It's actually very thin as well. What I've seen some people do is they've got some MagSafe stickers, stuck it on the back of here, and then use MagSafe on the phone and just stuck it on the back of their phone. So you can have it just like this on the back of your phone. Connect it via USB-C, now that the iPhone 15 has USB-C, and then you can record Apple log footage directly from your iPhone to an SSD, not clogging up the space on your phone. And it's fast enough to handle log footage as well. That's the other important thing when choosing an SSD, you gotta make sure it's fast enough. These are definitely one of the best you can get. Next up, we have the Backbone Gaming Controller. This is essentially a controller which you put your iPhone or Android phone inside, turning it into a sort of console-like gaming device. Easy to set up and use, just plug in your phone and you're good to go. It comes in both Lightning and USB-C options. It also has a pass-through charging port so that you can keep playing whilst it's charging. It has a headphone jack too, if you prefer wired headphones over wireless. It's a seriously impressive bit of kit. I wasn't expecting much to be honest when I first got it. I put my iPhone in it, it worked right away, not having to pair with Bluetooth or anything like that. And yeah, I was just impressed at how good the overall experience is. It completely transforms how you play games on your iPhone. And of course, because this is the PlayStation version, you can use remote play on the iPhone or an Android phone and then play your PlayStation on your iPhone, which is just an incredible experience. It's very lightweight, which does make it feel a bit cheap, but I can also see why it's light. 
because once you've added your phone to it, it does add quite a bit of weight. That's $100. I actually think it's very, very well priced for the overall package that you're getting. And I can definitely see something like this being the ideal sort of Christmas gift or ideal accessory for anyone who really loves playing games on their iPhone or their Android phone. When it comes to activity trackers, you have to go with the Apple Watch. It only makes sense to go with the Apple Watch if you have an iPhone. I've been using an Apple Watch ever since 2015, since they've come out. I've been using them every year. I, in particular, have the Series 9 stainless steel. But yeah, any Apple Watch, any recent Apple Watch, I highly recommend getting one for your iPhone because for the price they go for, and regularly you can get them at discount for around $250, $300, I just think it's well worth it. The ability to extend your iPhone to having something on your wrist which can also help track your health, your activity, your steps, heart rate, things like that. I just think it's so worth the money. I in particular use mine to track various different things. So I have the sunset and sunrise times. I have the temperature for the day. I can see my battery level of the watch. I can quickly activate an activity. I can measure the noise around me with the decibel meter inside here, which is so useful because it gives me notifications when I'm in an environment that's way too loud. I can set timers quickly and I can track my activities. Doing all of this, just having shortcuts to all of these different things on this device on my wrist is pretty incredible and I don't have to touch my phone to do these things. So for me, it's more about productivity and being able to get things done quicker than just having an iPhone on my wrist. Another really neat product is actually this, this thing that I'm wearing on my finger. It is the Ultra Human Ring Air. It goes for $350 and it's a smart ring that can track your sleep, movement and recovery. If you prefer a health tracker that is much smaller and more discreet than the Apple Watch, this is a great option. It offers accurate sleep insights, temperature monitoring and activity tracking. I particularly like using mine for sleep tracking because I don't actually like wearing my Apple Watch to bed. I much prefer wearing something like this. It's just a lot more discreet. It's a lot smaller and it doesn't bother me when I'm wearing it in bed. When it comes to battery packs, my go-to right now is this Anker MagSafe battery pack. It's 5,000 milliamp hours, connects via MagSafe to your iPhone wirelessly. It's slim and compact, offers a foldable built-in stand that keeps your phone upright and it charges via USB-C. You can even charge other devices with the USB-C port if you don't want to charge your phone. Next up, we have the Native Union Duo charger cable. Now that we're in this weird overlap of USB-C and Lightning when it comes to Apple devices, this is the perfect cable. It's a cable that has USB-C on one end with a double connector on the other, consisting of Lightning and USB-C. Perfect if you need to charge on your iPhone 15 and your AirPods, which might still have Lightning. The USB-C connector also supports up to 60 watts of charging, which is powerful enough to charge a MacBook Pro. It has a super strong braided design and looks fantastic. If you're someone who prefers to not carry your iPhone in your pocket and prefer a bag or a sling, I would highly recommend this mini sling pack from Grams 28. It's made from Italian full grain pebbled leather, basically the best grade of leather you can get. It's the perfect everyday sling, which has a minimal and discreet design. It fits your iPhone, wallet, sunglasses, and a few extra small accessories. It has an adjustable strap with a solid heavy duty buckle made entirely of metal. And it also has a dedicated air tag pocket. I really like the look of this thing. I think it looks very smart, very discreet. And it's just a good way to carry some essentials and not fill up your pockets. Next up, we have the Belkin iPhone continuity camera mount. So this is a pretty unique little accessory. It's a MagSafe compatible magnet that lets you use your iPhone as a webcam. It has a little kickstand that attaches to your MacBook screen, then you mount your iPhone to it, and then you can use your iPhone as a webcam in things like FaceTime and Zoom calls. There's also a little ring grip that comes out and acts as a kickstand, and of course you can use it as a sort of like pop socket. I was really surprised by the build quality of this. The materials feel great, and even the way the ring comes out is very smooth. It feels like a much more premium product. And then finally, we have the DJI mic kit. So if you've seen TikTok videos and stuff like that of people holding a mic, they're actually using something like this. So I'm actually recording the audio for this section with this mic so you guys can see what the quality is like. And yeah, this is awesome. This connects to your iPhone in the bottom of your iPhone. And then obviously this works wirelessly. This is the microphone. It transmits it wirelessly to this thing, which is then connected to your iPhone. And you can record really high quality audio directly to your iPhone video. Incredible bit of kit. It's not that cheap, $250, but I do think for the money, it's actually well worth it because you get incredible audio quality when recording video with your iPhone. Also, the other convenient thing is that you get an all-in-one charging case so you can have all the devices always charged, ready to go whenever you need them to. So that's it for this video. Some of my favorite iPhone accessories. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm always on the lookout for other cool iPhone accessories to enhance my iPhone experience. I'll leave links to everything down in the description below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.